Hello and welcome to this uh, new section on managing the preparation team and the first lecture of that. So in this section we will give you a good understanding of how to manage the preparation team. After having looked at the placement team and how can you manage them, let's take a look at how to manage the preparation team. And in this lecture, we'll basically talk about two things. We'll quickly recap the expectations from the preparation team and look at what are the various working models uh, that are there in the academic institution for you to take a pick from. All right. So what do you think? How can you make the preparation team deliver expectations from them? Any thoughts? Before that, let's recap the expectations from the preparation team. All right. Ready for that? Great. So, as we saw earlier, uh, basically two areas of preparation. One is what is called hygiene fact factors and second is called domain specific. And uh, in uh, hygiene factors, you need to take a look at like group discussions, CV reviews, business modeling related to industry, enhancing oral communication skill, communication and other skills necessary, soft skills necessary. And also career options like if you are an engineering uh, campus, the students may have to decide which stream should they focus on and what should they become within the screen. Like if you want to become first choices, whether you should uh, take electrical, mechanical, and within electrical, should you become a design engineer, maintenance engineer, etc., etc. And then there are domain-specific practice interview by industry experts, experts, role-specific HR questions, guesstimates in case of management student, specific skills-based session, uh, and then uh, basic things like Excel, PowerPoint, and project management sessions, and domain-specific certification. So these are the various things a preparation team needs to prepare the students and isn't that a lot? Absolutely. So let's look at how to meet these expectations from the preparation team. If these are the expectations, how can one go about making sure that the preparation team delivers these expectations? But there are many models across the institutes and that depends on your organization structure and your vintage and your preferences. So let's look at some of these organization structures. There is a model that is followed at IIMs A, B and C, which is a fully student driven model in which students practically drive all the three activities of getting the recruiters to the campus, students preparation and ensuring students performance. And the placement office provides minimal guidance and the, typically the placement office is only a one or couple of people in the office there. This, uh, and in this, the placement team gets the recruiters to the campus, ensures that the students perform. Students take the ownership of preparation themselves, right? Uh, with the help of the well-established learning tools over the years, like IMABC, they have their uh, journals, they have their uh, manuals developed that uh, students use to train themselves up. And uh, seniors play an important role by supporting uh, the preparation, younger students in preparing themselves. Now, this kind of model is suitable for institutes with highly driven institutes like ABC and there may be more in the engineering and other sites. Now, on the other hand, there is an institute driven model for newer institute. Newer means it could be a few years, it could be even 10 years. And there the preparation of students is driven by a dedicated preparation team led by a placement head. Like at IIM Beppo, we had a, we still have a placement head, a placement head I was there, but there's still a preparation head. And the preparation team consists of few preparation staff as needed, a student's preparation team and external agencies as needed. Uh, the preparation staff provides the critical preparation required for identified students. These are the students who could you could say are, are tough uh, candidates who needs to be coached and trained regularly. And they are beyond uh, uh, the capabilities of an external agency. The agency provides a general preparation to all the students on all the aspects from career guidance to final preparation. And here you can choose what you want to give to agency, what you want to do in-house based on 
what is strategic for you and what you need not and what you don't want to disclose to an external agency. The students preparation team basically consists of uh, uh, 10 to 12 uh, students for both the years and they provide support in organizing the sessions for preparation and ensuring the students attend these sessions and doing all the legwork that is needed. Now the preparation head decides the role of these three teams, who will do what and interacts with the placement team and faculty to ensure that the preparation is synchronized with the other members of the uh, community. Uh, many institutes have what is called training in placement officers, TPO, and I've seen across institute, probably a largest number of institute will have the TPO structure. And in the TPO structure, there is a combined head of placement and training uh, under whom uh, there is a placement staff and there are training staff and there are external advisors and resources. And then the placement staff or training staff may or may not have individual dedicated placement and preparation teams. So that's how, or that's another of the structures. So you could choose whatever structure suits you based on your preferences, your needs, your culture. Having looked at how can you broadly prepare students, what do we do next? In the next we look at what needs to be done. Whatever is your structure, a few things will need to be done. And what are they? And we will take a look at that in great detail. So thank you so much for watching this first lecture of managing the preparation team. I hope you're beginning to learn new things again, beginning to enjoy. And I do look forward to see you again. And if you have any questions, do feel free to message me. I'll be happy to answer them.